welcome to our class, or something like that. Although the first time I did it, I was actually even looking at the, at the, at the uh, camera, and it really was kind of fun and cool. So what are we going to do today? What are we going to talk about? Handy huh? Oh, handy handouts. Get out your handy handouts, if you would, please. You got them. Where's your three-ring binder? <coughs> are you going to? Yeah, I, it's very highly recommended. Handy handouts? You got them? Handy handouts? Handy handouts? Awesome. I would, I would highly recommend three-ring binder. Otherwise, pages disappear. Yes, sir? Do you recommend we take notes in here? Uh, in there, that's what it's for. It's, that's what it's for. It's the only thing you need to bring with you. So uh, I highly, uh, uh, yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend that you take notes. Pardon? Yes. I mean, if you're uncomfortable for a while, keep your other pad out. But, and then you can insert those pages in there in your three ring binder. But I would say primary note taking should, be, should occur in there. What page should we be on? Seven. We're going to talk about terms and flows. Oh, not seven? No, 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 no. no. Term. Oh, page seven? Works for me. Four? <laughs> What's on page four? Well, show me page four. Oh, that stuff you get yourself. It's in the book. Yeah, look at the very first words under let's take notes below. It says, take a few more notes on your own. Oh, is that what that says? Yes, it is. <laughs> so page seven it is. All right. All right, then, if you make me. Terms. We're going to learn four terms today. And I need writing utensils. Now, I'll just make very explicit and clear that I would expect you to write more in your notes than I write on the board, okay? So, these, so all I've written on the board are the terms that we are going to be defining. The definition will be delivered orally, and you can write it down. So variable costs vary with the number of units produced. So variable costs are costs that vary with the number of units produced. Okay? Variable costs are costs that vary with the number of units produced. Anybody left hand? Apparently last Friday was National Left-Handed Day, for those of you who are <coughs> left-handed. Somebody in my last class told me that. Last Friday was National Left-Handed Day. So, uh, so that's variable costs, costs that vary with the number of units produced. So by way of example, I'm wearing a shirt. Cinch, if you recognize the logo. Anybody heard of cinch shirts? It's a Western style of shirt. They happen to have long arms, which is kind of why I like them. They have long sleeves for long arms. So cinch shirts, let's, Im let's imagine for purposes of discussion that there is $4 worth of cloth in this shirt, okay? Four dollars worth of cloth in the shirt. So, Ashton, Pitts. Right. If we make one shirt, how much are they? How much is Cinch going to be spending on cloth for shirts? Look at what we started out selling. How much? How, what was the value of the cloth? Do you recall that? No, I don't. Four dollars. Okay. Four dollars. So, if we're making, if their cloth has a value of four dollars in each shirt, if we make one shirt, how much is Cinch spending on cloth for shirts? Four dollars. Outstanding. Outstanding. Anthony Robinson. If we make two shirts, if Cinch makes two shirts, how much are they going to spend on cloth? Which is how much? Am I not talking loud enough? <laughs> how much, what's the value of the cloth in the shirts? Four dollars. Four dollars. So there's four dollars worth of cloth in the shirts. If we make two shirts, how much is Eight dollars. Awesome. Am I not talking loud enough? Can't you hear me in the back row? Joe, if we make 10 shirts, forty dollars. And now this is very important conceptually, Armando. If we make zero shirts, how much are we going to spend on cloth? 
zero dollars. So that's something that's unique to variable cost. Was that kind of loud? A little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. That's something very unique to variable cost. Is variable cost when production is zero, cost is zero. Okay. When production is zero, cost is zero. Very good. So now let's talk about fixed costs. Okay. Let's talk about fixed costs. Fixed costs remain the same regardless of the number of units produced. Okay, fixed costs remain the same regardless of the number of units produced. Fixed costs remain the same regardless of the number of units produced. Okay. So, these shirts were probably not made by hand, they were made using a sewing machine. So let's so fixed costs remain the same regardless of the number of units produced. So fixed costs remain the same regardless of the number of units produced. Okay? So let's imagine that Cinch is renting a sewing machine at a cost of $100 a month. Okay? Renting a sewing machine at $100 a month. So Anthony, how much is the sewing machine per month? <laughs> it's four dollars worth of cloth per shirt. How much is the sewing machine per month? Yes, I did. Do you remember? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred dollars. Would it would it help if you took off the headphones? I mean, he's, he's, he's never had them on his ears, but maybe you ought to take them off and just kind of set them aside. And maybe, maybe the, the energy will flow better that way. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, no, where were we? $100. If we're making one shirt, if, we're making, if Cinch is making one shirt, how much are they spending per month on that sewing machine? Megan Schill. Let's ignore the, where's Megan? You're making it harder than I want. Let's, not, let's ignore the cost of the cloth. We're just talking about the, the sewing machine. $100. So if we make one shirt, we've got to pay $100 for that sewing machine. Very good. Uh, Katie, what if we make two shirts? How much are we going to spend in total on that sewing machine? $100. How about 10 shirts, Ekta? $100. Holden, now this is, where is Holden? Holden, this is, this is, gonna, this is kind of the, the, the critical one. If we make zero shirts, how much are we going to spend on the sewing machine? $100. And notice that's the difference, right? That is a difference between variable costs and fixed costs. Fixed costs, even though we make zero units, we're still incurring those costs. We're still going to experience those costs, okay? 